Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back. Um, so today we're going to cover the barracks. We're going to cover the jail. We're going to cover inner cloister, and we'll cover catacombs. Uh, we'll just go through those maps and uh, show you some of the, the different blocks and ways to approach those maps. Okay, so for the barracks, what do we got here? We got the plus sign. Oh, the monastery on Dariel's stronghold. Okay, so from here, let me just kill these dudes. Uh, teleport and chain lightning. Right here. Okay, so. The rule for the barracks. You enter in, so you're facing this way. Sorceress is facing, once she enters this door, she's facing towards the top right of the screen. This way is straight. So, the rule for the barracks... If you want to find the Malice, or if you want to find the Jail Stairs, you want to go straight, or you want to go left. So straight in this case is going to be towards the top right. Source makes one, wants to make a left turn, she's going to go towards the top left. So both directions are valid for finding the Malice in the Jail. So what does that mean? That means, we'll use over here. So that means you're looking for, hang on. That means you're looking for a room where there's a box like this and you're entering going top right or there's a box like this you're entering going to the top left. So let's just walk through. Um, and I just want to keep going towards the top right. If I see any doors like this, this could be uh, the jail of the mouse, it could be the jail of the mouse. But any doors where you're going this way or that way are good. There's the jail. And what do we have here? And here's a malice. Okay. So as you can see here, um, this is all one giant room. This is probably the first time in this tutorial where uh, you'll see this, and we're going to see this more in other maps as well. This is actually considered one giant room. This room is part of this bigger room. Um, that is a thing. That's actually a thing you have to look out for. Um, same with this right here. That's all one giant room. Enter in, and then it gives you this, and this, and this. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, working back from the start, now if we want to go towards the top right or the top left, well, here's the top left. There's that box going through that door, top left. Here's the box here going through the top right. That's it. That's literally it. This could have been over here. This could have been, this jail could have been positioned, you know, there could have been a box over here where you go towards the top left. That could have all happened. But that's, that's the basic idea. You're looking for rooms where you go towards the top left and the top right. Um, now like every other map that we've been discussing, there's certain fixed rooms, or like, they're, they're part, they're sections, and, uh, you put them together, and, uh, it, it, that, that builds your map. So this right here, this is the top left version for the Malice room. <clears throat> Whenever you're looking for the Malice, and the Malice is in the top left, you're gonna have some sort of layout like this, where you're gonna have the, the little room, and you're gonna have the Malice. It's always gonna look like this. And then there's a different orientation, uh, for the Malice when you're going top right. And uh, we'll do a couple runs of these uh, these barracks, and we'll look at that. Same idea here with the jail. You're always gonna have this this little weird uh, gate. You have this little weird gate right here. You're gonna have the, like the little split there. You're gonna have this door. Actually, I, you might not have the door. I think you might just have the little split there and the gate. I don't think you you have to have the uh, the door. Okay, let's do a couple runs. And see if I can show you some of these fixed rooms. This one here, this is a fixed room. There's always going to be champion monsters somewhere. There they are, champions. Um, let's see. Let's see if there's any other rooms to note here. This is a big open room. Mm. Oh, this one, this one here. Okay, pay attention to this room. Sometimes there's elite monsters that will spawn right here. Um, so an idea, one of the ideas is like when you're doing a speedrun, and you're going through the barracks, you want to pick up some experience. There's a couple of rooms where there's there's some hot spots for elite monsters. This is one of those rooms that might have elite monsters. 
This one here, you always have champions right in the center, or somewhere in this room, usually in the center. Anyways, let, let's do a couple runs. Let's do a couple runs. I'm sure more will... It'll make more sense. It'll make more sense when we show more uh, versions of this. Okay, so this one here, we want to go towards the bottom right. Okay, so same sort of idea. You want to go straight, or you want to go left to find the Malice and to find the Jail. So th in this case, towards the bottom right and towards the top right. So let's go find the Jail and the Malice. Let's see here. So I can go this way. That's the, that's not a direction you want to travel. The only reason you would go this way is if you think it might do something like this and then bend back this way. But there's a door over here where we're going towards the top right. So hey, why not just go towards the top right? You can go top right, go top right. So now your options are, well, basically you're forced to go this way. Okay, there's another room, top right. So let's just get there as fast as possible. Okay, go back towards the top right. Another door to the top right. Sorry, not top right, bottom right, I'm sorry. Bottom right. Okay, so there's the Malice Room. And this should be your jail. There it is. Another uh, top right um, jail, as you can see here. So in the last map we were looking at, the jail was the same sort of orientation. In this case, it's the same sort of orientation. You have the door. Alright, okay. Okay, I'm sure. You have, you have the same sort of... You have the door, you have the little split, and then you have the uh, the gate. So uh, you can once you, once you get familiar with these sections, you can actually start looking for this particular room. As you're crossing this wall, you'll start seeing some of these outlines here. And if you make out the outline, you might be able to say right away, hey, that's a jail. And uh, later on when you're Nightmare in Hell sort of deal, you can actually just, boom, teleport right in. Um, but you can start looking for little tells like that. You start reading these, these little individual rooms. You might be like, oh, there's a leap pack there. Let's check that out. Oh, the jail's here. Oh, the mouse over here. It, it makes things go a lot faster. Uh, let's look at another map here. Okay, outer cloister. This one plus sign. Okay, so straight or left. So top right or top right. And from here, it's literally, you can, like, I mean, if you want to go this way, you can go this way. If you want to go that way, you can go that way. You can figure out some sort of system to efficiently uncover all the rooms without having to backtrack. Great, do it. Um, I mean, for me, like, I, I never really put in the time to think about it. I just sort of YOLO. Um, so here's your top left version of this room. Uh, this is one big giant room, and then there's a, a small room inside that room. Same sort of deal, but it's just one big giant room you're entering in right here through the top left. Um, there's your jail. So, if you're looking for the jail, um... And you're, you're in this sort of room. Now you know what the two different uh, now you know what the two different variations are. You can either have this one up here, or the one we were talking about before. If if you're entering and going towards the top right, it's gonna look like the uh, that room with a small room, a little split on both sides, and then a door. I'm not sure if the door is guaranteed, but uh, the split and the uh, that little, uh, the gate, that should be it. That, that, that should be what you're looking for. Oh, you know what? I didn't even look for the, uh, the malice. I'm sorry. We should have looked at the malice there. Could have showed you the other layout. Okay, this one is going to be towards the top left. Okay, same idea. You want to go straight. So straight is towards the top left of the screen. Left is going to be towards the, uh... Sorry, my mouse is acting up. Left is going to be towards the, uh, the bottom left of the screen. So, here's a door here, take me towards the bottom left, great. Another door. Okay. Elite monsters. There's a the jail. This is what the jail looks like if you're going towards the bottom left of the screen. Just like this. So you can start, you can start, um, building this sort of image in your head. You can start fishing for that sort of image. Um, sometimes this will be somewhere closer where you can, you know, you, it's not, like, this isn't, like, the outside. Like, this might be inside somewhere where you actually might cross a wall. You might see this, this outline and be like, oh, that's a jail. Uh, a lot of Diablo 2 speedrunning is, is, is doing that. It is looking at these, these small shapes without uncovering the entire room. And you start to see what that shape is and you're like, oh, it's probably this room here. 
So here's the Malice, and this should look familiar already. The top left room is the giant room with the small room, and then there's the Malice. Okay. Let's see if I can show you the guaranteed elite room. Wait, is this it right here? This is it. No, it's not. No, no, no. Okay. Hang on. It's it's more when uh, this is open. This has to be like a hallway open. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. So I want to show you guys the guaranteed elite room. Um, I think we've covered most variations for the other rooms. But now you should have, you should have an idea. There's different um, layouts based on the orientation that you're entering in. It's a different layout. And you can get familiar with, familiar with that the more you speed run. So you can find that guaranteed elite room. Okay, here's the malice. This one we didn't show yet. This one here. The double doors. And then the giant room with the malice. This is all one big thing right here. That's all it. I guess this door would be where, where you enter. Uh, this doesn't have to be a door. I know for a fact this doesn't have to be a door. This can be an open hallway. But the double doors... That's... That's always part of the malice room. That's always part of it. Let's see... Is this the gym? Nope. Okay, so it's the top left room. Um, that should look familiar as well. We've already seen that one. Okay, no guaranteed elite room. Let's see if I can find it. I'm not going to look for the uh, the jail or the, uh, the malice anymore. We'll just look straight for the elite room. I want to show you guys that before we move on. Okay, so as we uh, already went through this, there should, there should be champions in here. Now they are. Always a good idea to see that room. If you can make it work, if you can somehow do this, and if you need to get back straight, you know, you can you try to make it work. So that way you can do this. Farm your elites and sort of, you know, get back on your path at the same time. Um, let's see here. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. This is it. You can already see the bright lights in here. So, I'm not sure if it's always champions. I think it's always champions. There might be elites, like the actual, uh, the ones that have the minions, not the colorful ones, the blue ones. It might always be champions. But anyways, if you see this room, check it out, open it up, throw some charge bolts for your sorceress, throw whatever skills you need, drop some traps, run away. Always good. This this room always has uh, monsters in it. Elite monsters. Uh, sometimes you'll get lucky. Sometimes this uh, this room here... It's actually, it's, I don't know if this is continues, but I know, like, for a fact, like, this, this little shape right here, um, that, that, that's always, that's, you're always gonna see this. You're gonna see where you're running through like this, and this is, like, an option that you can, you can open this door, or you can continue this way, you can go this way. Um, so maybe this whole thing, maybe this whole outline is the entire room, but you always, you always have an option here. You always have the option to go this way or some, somewhere else. And then there's always this opening here. It's locked. Um, so this sort of piece could actually spawn literally right here. Right at the, uh, the start. So you walk in, you go through this door, boom. And then you're in a room like this. You're in a room like that. So you're just entering in. You're in this room. Where is it? And then all of a sudden, boom, you see this room. You want to open it up, kill the elites, kill the champions, and then move on. Start going this way, start going that way. Anyways, that's it. That's the barracks. So, what to take away from this? The rule is go straight or go left. Go straight or go left, and you should find the jail, you should find the house. So, as you can see here, here's that sort of open open hallway sort of deal, that idea. So, the door is optional, I suppose, but anyways, you have the double rooms into the malice. So, just get familiar with these sort of layouts. The uh, um, I can't, the map. Get familiar with these layouts. And it's going to help you um, when you're walking, when, when things are going really slow, when you're walking against walls. You'll start to see these things. Like, you'll be standing right here. You might see a bit of this. You might be like, oh, okay, this definitely looks like it. Um, same with this right here. Always check here for your elites. As you can see, they're not here this time. Uh, but that, that is common. And here's the champion room. It's champion room. Champion room. Okay, I think I've gone over this enough. Barracks, straight or left. Uh, what's next? We can just dive right into the jail. Okay, so Jill. So the first two levels, you want to go straight. 
It's long gone now. You always want to go straight. Um, so each orientation is going to have a fixed sort of room. So if, if you're facing this way, that's what the map looks like. If you're facing another way, the map looks different. And if you're facing another way, the map looks different. And the exit rooms are always going to look different. So in this case, we're looking for a room like this. And we're entering this way. So what we should expect to see is a very big room. We should see some barrels around, and we should see a table. You look for a table at the start. The stair should be in the very back corner, back corner right here. Look for something like a table. So once again, the rule is go straight. So we're entering, we're going through this, the exiting this room. Uh, the source is facing towards the top left. So you wanna you wanna go through a room uh, where you're going through a door like this, the, through the uh, the top left. You're going to the top left of the screen. So all this stuff you can just ignore. You can kill it if you want to kill it, kill it. But like this big room here, this looks very nice. Like this could be like this. There's your table. There's your stairs. And that's it. Uh, one thing to note, if you see a, a room like this, literally like this with the, the jails and stuff, you're going to find champions or elites in here. Might be a good idea to kill them, depending on what kind of monsters they are and if you're behind on experience or not. But anyways, this is, this is the room right here. It cuts off right here. So this, right there. So, if you know you're going towards the top left of the screen, Always have to look for a room like this. There's only one sort of exiting block, and this is it right here. And let's look for jail level 2. Jail level 1, jail level 2. Exact same sort of idea. You want to go straight, so we can actually show you this one. You do the same sort of maneuver for jail 1 as you would do in jail 2. So, exiting through this door. Swords facing the bottom right of the screen. The rulers go straight. So you want to go through doors that look like this. Um, in this case, I know that this is actually... A little square block like that so I don't want to go through that but just to show you guys that's a dead end so that's what I'm saying about uh, like you, you see an outline you know like you don't see the entire thing but you know you already know because of previous experience previous history you know that this is gonna be a, a dead end that's gonna help you um, be a better speedrunner recognizing those little things that's the difference between you know your your 110 sorcerers and your 130 sorcerers that's 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 it right there that and a lot of luck okay so anyways so you want, you want to go like this, and then there you go. Boom. You want to keep going towards the bottom right. As soon as we find a door or a hallway, go towards the bottom right. You want to go towards the bottom right. Okay, door, door. One thing to get familiar with is this sort of sequence right here. This is all This is all one thing. Where you go through a door, into another door, into another door. That's a thing. That is a thing. If you ever see this sort of um, feel, door into like a L-shape sort of thing, you know that there's going to be a door here too. Um, so one thing to note, this right here, actually no, he's not here, he's not here. Um, so if you ever see something like this, where you have the, uh, the, the two uh, prisons, if you will, with the doors, uh, this is where one of the, uh, the fixed bosses are, pit spawn. He's not here in this one, but uh, let's go find him later on. Let's go look for the jail as well, jail level 3. We might find pit spawn as well. Very dangerous guy, um, you gotta watch out for him. Uh, he's cold enchanted, he's cursed, he will mess you up. So this is the exiting block when you're going towards the bottom right. Just looks like this. And it's just a, a maze. And if this was somewhere, like if this, if you pretended if I just picked this up and I dropped it somewhere in the middle of the map. Um, and if you're walking around the outside, sometimes you see the actual stairs, sometimes you see part of this like little maze, like these little walls coming in and out. Sometimes you see like just a little blip there. And uh, that's all you need in order to make a tell. In order to figure out, oh, the jail, the, the exit's over there, and then once you see you make your way, work your way around, and then you would go in. So this is, this is probably Pitspawn here. This is him. I killed him too fast. Uh, but anyways, that's the guaranteed elite. He's in a room that looks like this. So I guess there's one open and then one closed door. Whereas this one was a, uh, just the closed doors. Now, I'm not sure, I've never actually really paid attention to this, because, I mean, generally you want to avoid him. But it might be possible that if you enter this and where this way is straight, maybe it's only this sort of orientation for pit spawn. I don't know. I've never actually paid attention to it. But maybe it's possible. This is the only room you're allowed to find pit spawn. Uh, maybe. But anyways, whenever you see these double doors like this, double doors, you're going to find pit spawn. Okay. Um, let's do a couple more. Hopefully we can show you the, uh, the other two layouts. Uh, the top left. And the, uh, the bottom left layouts. Let's see here. Outer quest room. You want star? Yes. So right here, I actually made a mistake. 
I actually made a mistake because I should be going towards the top right and the top left. There's no reason for me to go this way. No reason at all. There's a door here. I can go towards the top left. That should have been the correct move. Okay, there it is. This one I think we've seen already. So I should be expecting a big giant room like this. The stairs in the little corner there. And then the, the table. Okay. There's your sequence there. The, the L shape into the door. And here it is. Here's your table. There's stairs. Now it doesn't seem like much right now. Like looking for this little table. Looking for tells like that. Because the sources run super fast. She's already at the end before you can even make decisions. But... Let's say you enter a room like this, if you don't see a table, you know immediately, oh, you're in the wrong place, get out of there. Which, it adds up to a lot of time. Uh, this one we've already seen, this is literally what we just did, you know, um, literally this room right here, we're looking for, we're literally looking for another version of this. So there we go. Uh, close the door. Open this up. That's, there's your little L-shaped sequence, that thing, and then the door. What do we got here? Is that pit spawn? Okay, so there's another pit spawn. As you can see, the one open door, one closed door. Uh, positioned in a different uh, orientation. Let's see if we can uh, find him here before we kill him. There he is, pit spawn. Curse, cold, enchanted. Be careful with this guy. This guy can rip your run. Be careful. Uh, so maybe it's possible, um, as I was saying before, maybe it's possible since we're entering this way, maybe... Pit spawn only shows up in orientation like that. I cannot confirm that. I, I don't know. I've never actually looked at it. Okay, so looking at the map, I guess I have to go this way. It's probably going to be something where I go down like this and then up. There it is right there. Just seeing this, this wall right here, very big room, I have a good idea that it's right here. So where were we? We have to go back to the start. Okay, and then I can imagine there's champions in this room. And yeah, they are champions. Here's a the table. There's the stairs. And you can make that tell just by walking against this wall. So it's, it's, it's good to get familiar, to, to, to know that uh, you're looking for a room exactly like this. Uh, jail level 3. We'll cover this um, after I show you guys the... Uh, the next sequence, the, the this this sort of uh, shape, and then the other one, jail one and two. I want to show you guys the uh, the different uh, shapes for the jail room, the jail exit. Oops. Here we go. Another cloister, plus sign. Go this way. Okay. Here we are. Okay, so this one we sh we haven't seen yet. There's a room going through this door here, so to towards the top right. And this one should look similar to the um, the orientation we see in the barracks. It's not 100% the same, but it should look similar. Top right. Okay, so right now options. I This might be a hard line here. Maybe not. It looks like maybe it's not a hard line. Another option going this way and up. One thing I forgot to mention. Jail level 1. If you want to find the waypoint, you go towards the left. So this right here, it, it might be this this waypoint room. Let's just go check it out. Show you guys what the, the waypoint looks like. So it's just a tiny little room like this. There's a jail. Um, same thing with any other orientation. So if I, I was, you know, top... Uh, sorry, bottom. If I was going towards the bottom right, you know, if I, if I made a left turn, that'll take me to another room that looks... Similar to this, you know, just a tiny little shape like that, but you know, orienta orientated a different way, and that'll be your jail. Or that'll be your waypoint. Okay, so options from here. I see some doors. Maybe it'll let me go like that. So let's go check those out. Nope. Character runs so fast, it's hard to keep control. Okay, there it is. So it's a giant room, and then it'll be a smaller room inside the room that'll be the jail. You're always gonna find it where it's it's like this this square inside a bigger room like that. Um, one thing to note: this right here, this sort of weird thing like that, 
Um, I believe this can be either a dead end or it can be an opening like that. So don't be fooled. Uh, there are multiple instances of this. Uh, we'll also see this in Act 2, sort of. Um, typically in the jail, if you see something like this where it's sort of like that uh, that zigzag, if it's if it's going upwards, like this way, if this hallway is going up like this, if you see that in the jail, that is a dead end. If you see that sort of zigzag, that is a dead end. I'll try to show it to you guys if we find it. If not, just uh, I'm telling you now. See a zigzag going towards the top right? That's a dead end. This one here, um, we've already seen. Uh, this will be the weird maze room where you go all the way around and then into the door. So the rule is go straight, so straight's going to be towards the bottom right. There's that maze room. I know exactly where I am. Boom. Exit. Alright. Did I show everything? I think the only thing we haven't seen is the bottom, uh, going towards the bottom left. I do want to show you guys that one. That one actually... That one has a rather unique uh, exit. Jello one. Whoops. Actually, no, this works. That's fine. Um, actually, there's one thing to cover that I, I didn't really go over. Um, if you're doing a hell run and you happen to backtrack somewhere and you need to do like a reverse course and you need to sort of figure out where you're going. So, for example, let's say you're killing Mephisto in Nightmare and you have the waypoint and you had to save him quick because Mephisto was going to kill you and you're doing a hardcore run. Well... Maybe you have the waypoint and you want to come back. Um, let's say for some reason you went to a different... You went to normal to pick up some items and you went back to Nightmare. Whatever. Let's just say your map is gone. Um, so from here you should be able to figure out where you where you need to go. So the rule is from the start you need to go left to find the, the waypoint. So same sort of idea. If you, if you can figure out which way you're entering, where the, the starting room is, well, hey, there you go. Now you know this way is straight. You're good to go. So you need to go towards the bottom right. And you can do that however you want. You can just be like, okay, so it's, it's left of the waypoint. Or, you know, the exit is towards the right. It, you can figure it out however you want. What I'm trying to say is it's all relative. If you have this, you don't have the entrance. You still know where you have to go. You should be able to figure out where you still have to go. So we are looking for one of those maze rooms. This right here already has my interest. Boom. Just seeing the little additional... Uh, block there, like that that tiny little corner piece. I already had an idea that this is the exit. Are you level two? No. Okay, let's see if I can get you guys the uh, the proper map, the the one where we're facing the bottom left. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I don't want to drag this out. If we can't find it, we can't find it. But you should have you should now have the proper tools to uh, do this on your own. You should be able to learn this on your on your own. Take your own time, figure it out. You'll see it as you, if you do your own runs. You don't even need to practice it. As long as you know the theories behind it, you'll get familiar with it the more you run. Okay, Jill. No. There was magic here. It's long gone now. So I'm looking for a table room with the corner piece. No, this is wrong. Okay, I'll do one more if, if we don't get it. I mean, you guys will see it if you do your runs. I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, we're going to the outer cloister, another plus sign. Okay. Once again, making a mistake by going this way. There's no reason to go that way. It's very easy to go on autopilot and just pick a direction. You gotta stay focused, and uh, you gotta you gotta know where you're going. You gotta know what what the what the game plan is. Going this way is definitely gonna be much better than going this way. Because if you go this way, now you're fishing for rooms like this. As soon as you go this way, you're already in the potential of uh, finding another room. Another, this might be the exit room right here. So, whenever you have a potential of finding, oh, here we are. Whenever you find, uh, whenever you have pen here. potential of finding it's the exit room, you know, now. you take that opportunity. Anyway, so here we go. This is what the the last one looks like. The bottom left. You're generally going to get this sort of plus uh, intersection here. This crossway. Uh, sometimes there will be elites hanging out, hanging out. Uh, but uh, the room we're looking for is going to be a big rectangle like this. There's going to be sort of a, a halfway cutoff, and there's going to be an opening. The stairs are going to be down here. Um, so let's see. Here. Here's the door. Big giant room. There it is, right there. I can already see the, the cutoff there. I already know this is the exit room. There it is. So, what's take away from this? Each room has a unique uh, layout. Each, each direction has a unique entrance and a unique exit. So I know if I'm going th uh, towards the bottom left, I know I'm looking for this very room right, right here. So which means if I accidentally 
or just so happen to be right here in this room and it uncovers you know part of this and maybe a little bit of this i know immediately like oh i need to backtrack i need to go this way boom get get in this door and then you're in your you're home free anyways let's go through uh jail level three jail level three is different from one and two so the rule for one and two is go straight jail, jail level three is go left go left okay so jail level three as you can see the entrance is still the same sort of map layouts the only thing that's different is now you're going towards the left you're looking for different rooms uh this one here you're going towards the left so you're looking for a room like this um now for the left and right you're looking for a big giant room and you're gonna look for a, a small room inside of that with two doors same with this one and then if if we were entering and we're going towards the bottom left you're looking for a room where like you're going like this and then um it's same sort of idea you're looking for a smaller room with the two doors uh top left and bottom left are sorry top right and bottom right are different i'll try to show it to you guys i don't want to spend too much time on it though no that's dead ends it's hard to uh actually control where you want to go run so fast okay so this right here this looks interesting to me if i can make my way in here I have a strong confidence that uh, this might be the room we're looking for, the double doors. There it is. Just from seeing this hard line here, a very big line, no nothing in the center. That gives me an, uh, an impression that if there is a room in here, there's a very good chance that this is the exit. So here it is, study this, make sure you know it. Double doors, there's your exit. Boom in our quest room. I'll show you guys a couple. See if we can uh, uncover some of the uh, the different layouts, but uh, now you know the rules. Go straight for jail one and two. Go left for jail uh, three. So this one. Now, magic, if we remember all of our theory. So what I like to do is I like to trace back to the uh, the entrance. So this is the entrance, and then I know I need to go this way, or you can just you know simply just say you need to go left. I don't know. For some reason, I, I like to I like to map out where where's the entrance. That's sort of like my, my base, my foundation. But as long as you know the directions you gotta go, it doesn't matter. Jill two. There we are. Jill three. This one, um, so it's gonna be similar to what we saw before where we're facing this way and we're going towards the top right. This one we're facing, we're going towards the bottom left. It's gonna be the same sort of idea. Actually, it might even be this room right here. This and double doors, let's see. No. There it is, the double doors. Similar idea to the last map, it's just, you know, it's just, it's flipped. It's flipped, um, I don't know, it's like if this was a mirror right here, it'd be the other side. Anyways, let's try to show you guys the other the other two. Um, if we don't get it, we don't get it. I'll, uh, I'll draw it out, how I've been drawing out the rest of them. Um, try to give you guys a heads up. But once again, you now have the tools, at least now you should have the tools. In order to do this for yourself, you should be able to figure it out on your own. And once again, like all these all these rooms and stuff, that's all blocks that you should get familiar with. You should have an idea like, oh, this might be a dead end. This is going to be potentially an, o an opening here. It's all, like, I mean, you can you can sit down and, and study it, like each and every single one individually. Um, the more you run, the more you're going to figure out these things. The more you're going to get used to the idea that, you know, champions are in this room, for example. Um, this right here. I know that, like, if I see this on the map, I know there's always an opening there. Little things like that. Anyway, so, uh, here's the, uh, here's the room. I'm going to close this. Here's the room. Straight's going to be towards the bottom right. If you want to make a right turn, sorry, if you want to make a left turn, you want to go uh, through rooms like this. Uh, let's see what this is here. Uh, so right now we're looking for a big giant room like this and then there's gonna be a smaller room in there and that's gonna be the exit so something like this this seems really good boom big giant room smaller room exit um you know what? let's let's skip the other one let's skip the one where you're facing this way and you're exiting towards the bottom left uh what you're looking for though is similar to this very similar uh the only difference is this room the entrance is gonna be on the other side uh, it's actually, it's an open square where you can actually walk around it. Similar to, um, it's going to look similar to this. It's going to look similar to this. The exit's going to be on this side, and then there's going to be a room where you're like that. You walk in, and then you just you walk around this thing, and then there's your exit. 
and that's for whenever you're, you're entering the jail level 3 and the entrance is going towards the bottom left. Okay, so that's it for jail. Inner Cloister is pretty simple. There's a waypoint. There's actually stuff back here that I never check out. Um, yeah, I, I thought there was a room. Okay. That's just one big continuation. I, I rarely check out over here. Anyways, waypoint, door. Sometimes elite monsters over here. Sometimes there's regular monsters, sometimes there's elites. Um, nothing too special here. Uh, there's a guaranteed boss right here. He's always here. Bone Ash, he's always here. Sometimes in these side rooms, you might find elites. Sometimes they're in the, the center here. These pews. Sometimes they're over here. Typically, what I do is I go this way. If I see lights, I'll be like, oh, okay, let's check it out. If there's nothing here, I go through this door. If I don't see anything at all, I just I keep going straight. Whoops. I just I keep going straight. You want, you want to make your way right here. Catacombs 1. That's it. So literally, you come through this. Decide, do I want the waypoint? Yes. Okay, go through here. No, go through the door. And you see lights going here. If you don't see lights, keep going. You can consider killing, um, I think we've got him already. You could consider killing the unique boss. There's a chance he can actually drop, um, I believe Maelstrom. I've never actually seen it, but there's a chance he can drop a really, really good caster wand. Zero call. It's probably not worth the experience, but if you're feeling lucky, go for it. He, he's very tough. He's got Poison and Frost Nova on kill. Um, catacombs uh, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, sorry, Catacombs 1 and 2. Sorry, 1 and 3. Catacombs 1 and 3. Pick a random direction. Hope you go the right way. I know it's a lot, but that's that's what you, that's what you got to go for. Uh, there's multiple uh, exiting rooms. Uh, there's so many different permutations. Um, you can recognize them all. Uh, it will take a while. Um, the biggest thing, the biggest advantage for this is literally you just, you got to get familiar with every single one of these little rooms. Every single one of these little rooms tells a story. It tells you, hey, there's going to be an exit here. Hey, this is a dead end. Hey, there's elite monsters here. Um, I might have a shrine in this room. There might be champions here. Every single one of these rooms tells a little story. And it's a lot of work to figure out what each one of these little rooms do. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Uh, this one, for example, this one right here. Sometimes this is like a, a dead end and there's like barrels here. Sometimes there's no dead end. Sometimes there's two doors that connect these two walls. It's it's not an easy thing to get used to, but uh, over time you will start to see some of these patterns. You'll start to make decisions based on seeing like little, little walls and stuff. You'll start looking for torches that uh, it tells you, hey, the exit's there and the exit's not there. Something that, uh, for example, something that you might want to get used to is this room right here where you have the door and then the door and then like you're in a room where it's like that square and then it's, you know, the, the, uh, the symmetrical door is there. Um, basically, if you go through this, there's, there's a chance you might connect to something like this where it takes you to the exit where it splits off and there's the exit. This is um, this room right here where there's, there's the two doors. Um, that is one of the uh, exiting sequences, and uh, typically you have a room where it, it connects like this. That's sort of that, that weird C-shape, that arch, that connects uh, to this room. Uh, so that's an example of one exiting sequence. Catacombs 2, this is where you can actually get a little more uh, knowledge. It's still pick a random direction, hope you find the exit. The thing is, if you find the waypoints, you, you now have a compass, you have a sense of direction. Um, you can figure some things out. Uh, so one thing I should actually mention before you do anything, when you enter Catacombs 2, drop down portal. You can make use of the whole leapfrogging thing they were talking about back in the Bloodmore, uh, back in the Sony Field for Rackney's Shoe. This town portal here, if I find a waypoint and I figure out, oh, I need to be up here, use the waypoint to go to town. You do that little um, distance in town, takes you over here. You now just backtrack all this because you have a town portal. Let's see here. Uh, so something very obvious here. Um, well, not, maybe not obvious, but easy to um, to know once I tell you this. Whenever you see this sort of weird C-shape and this sort of uh, orientation, this is always a dead end. Always, always, always. This is always a dead end, this sort of weird C-shape here. Um, there's an exiting sequence that looks very familiar, or very similar to this, except this this wall, it comes down, it's one giant square. So it's a, it's a big room, there's one giant square like this. But since there, this, there's this weird little C-shape here, that is always going to be a dead end. Same with this room here. 
This is gonna be a room with torches. And it's always, 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 always a dead end. So right here, this torch right here tells you the Catacombs 3 is right there, the exit, exit is right there. You can get this exit sequ sequence on any level. It just so happens it's gonna, it's on Catacombs 2 this time. But yeah, so if you see this wall here, you're going through, and you see you can go on both sides. You see this torch, you can start getting excited because yes, 100% yes, there will be um, the exit there. Um, okay, so here's the waypoint. Now the rule is if you find the waypoint, you go towards the right. You go towards the right, and you should find the exit. And uh, once again, you're never guaranteed the exit is going to be right here. All it's telling you is the final room should look like this. It should look like the, the room like this. You're exiting towards the bottom left in this case. So let's go over this. This this room looks like this. You're exiting towards the bottom right. My sorceress is facing this way. If she wants to make a right turn, she's going to go towards the bottom left. Um, let's show you the rest of the map. And I'll go through uh, this with you. I really want to stress this point right here. This is very important. The, the whole idea that it might not be right here, I really want you guys to understand that. So I'll go over Catacombs 2 again. I'll show it to you because that applies to all Diablo. It doesn't mean, hey, just make a right turn, always make right turns, and then all of a sudden you're doing like all sorts of weird right turns, you're constantly going to a square. No. No. Uh, so Catacombs 3, pick a random direction, hope you go the right way. Literally just pick and guess and hope. This right here, this is another room that I recognize as always being a dead end. Whenever you see these two squares, like this, that is always a dead end. There's a tricky uh, map that looks, uh, or a uh, tricky uh, section that looks similar to this, but is not exactly how this looks. And this actually opens up. So if you're, uh, if you're too premature and you look at this and you see maybe a, a wall here, there's a chance this might actually open up and, uh, well, the exit might be here. And all of a sudden you're, you're looking all over just based off of one call you made, because it was premature, you wasted time because the exit was right there. So, be wary of that. Okay, so there's that torch, there's the exit. Catacombs 4, it's always going to be this this sort of uh, layout. You got the door, you got this monster here, and you got this door here. Now, something I want to talk about is this door. Um, this door, these monsters, they cannot open this door. Monsters, they can open this door here. I'll see if I can get it for you. It's going to be tough. Especially if I take damage. I'll try. I can't go. Dude, she's way too fast. I think I blocked the door now. Anyways, these monsters, they can open this door. These mo Those monsters, they cannot open this door right here. You close this door, they're all trapped. And that is very important. That can actually save your run. If you're doing a race, you're doing a no reset run, this door might save your run. Especially if there's tons of dudes in here. In here. You can consider opening this door, pull them all out, run in circles, and then somehow get back over here, close this door, and then now it's just you and Dario. Um, I cannot stress how many times that's actually saved my runs. Because um, like if you're going full pressure, full tilt, full everything, you don't get waypoints. You want to go as fast as possible. And then you get thrown a curveball with tons of monsters in here. Well, hey, you got to do this little strat. Um, so here's Dario. That's it. She's always here. That's it. You kill her. Actually, I guess I can go over this. Once you kill Dario, you'll get her loot. Now, instead of making Town Portal and going here and talking to Warv, what you should do if you want to save time if you want to min max the hell out of your time save and quit go back to the game and you can do that you can do that really fast you can use save and quit go back to the game like it should be instant rather instant you should be able to do that you're, you're next to move whereas this one you have to wait for the town portal to open up go through the town portal then you gotta walk here it wastes time it, it does waste time um, and that adds up over the, the duration of an entire speed run that does add up little things like that your presence bothers um, me so let's show you guys Catacombs 2. I do want to show, I do want to emphasize the whole idea like, you know, it's not the first right turn. It doesn't have to be. But anyways, this is what, um, this is what this looks like for, uh, this orientation. Uh, the double doors here is actually, that is part of it. That's all one giant room right there. And this is, if you enter, if you exit either door, you're going towards the top left. So this way, I mean, if you want to call this straight from the waypoint, sure. The idea is you want to go right from the waypoint. So if we're exiting this way, source is facing this way. If she wants to make a right turn, she's going this way. She's going towards the top right of the screen. Okay, so perfect. This is this is exactly what I want, what I want to show you guys. I made that right turn. It's not here. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's right here. You make the right turn. It's there. 
All it means is that there's going to be a room where you enter in towards the top right. So any door, any door like this, any door like that, any door like this, those are all potentials for finding the exit. So this right here, this looks good. This, this is interesting. Now we see that sort of C-shape. This looks really good. There's no reason to turn around. This right here, you see that C-shape? You're in business. There you go. Now, one thing to note, this can be either the waypoint or the exit. Same with this. This can be either the waypoint or the exit. So, if we happen to find the waypoint down here in a room like this, and the, the idea was to go towards the right, you'd be looking for a room exactly like this, where instead of the waypoint, this would actually be your exit. So get familiar with this room. That sort of box there we're talking about. Um, this, is, this is what the room looks like. If you're looking for the exit or the waypoint, and you're going to a room like that, this is what it looks like. And don't forget, there is a similar room that has this, that sort of weird C-shape that is always a dead end. So don't get confused. You might actually do something like this. You see a little bit of it, and you're like, oh, that's a dead end, and walk away. Well, actually, no, no, Ryu, that's that's the waypoint. Or no, Ryu, that's the exit. So don't get confused. You, there's, there's very, very similar sections, but uh, there's small differences that will make the difference between saving a lot of time and wasting a lot of time. That's basically it for catacombs. Pick, hope you uh, find the right way. That's basically it. This room here, this is always dead end, guaranteed dead end. If these doors are staggered a little bit, or if one of these rooms are open, um, that's actually the exiting block for um, this, this orientation. But if it's flush like this, that is going to be a dead end. Um, let's see if I can show you guys one of the guaranteed elite rooms. Actually, there's two guaranteed elite rooms I want to show you guys. It's not here. Okay, let's go through a couple. I do want to show you guys this. Because um, getting levels in this game is very important. Very important for uh, speedruns. If you're behind, you might want to consider finding one of these rooms, killing these monsters. Let's see here. Okay, so here's another um, exiting block where you're going uh, towards the uh, the sort of shape. Actually, I, I think I I think I fudged it. I think I told you guys that there's only one. There's multiple. As you can see here, here's another one you need to look for. The flush doors uh, going towards the uh, going towards the bottom right. Flush doors is also very important for finding um, waypoints and exits as well. So if I if I said there's only one uh, variation. I apologize, there's there's multiple variations. Get used to all of them, figure them out, see what they find out what they are. Get used to it, start looking for it. Train yourself to look for it. Uh, corner room, this is actually, there's a chance, there's a decent chance. If you see bright lights in here, there's champions in this room. Always in the corner, that sort of uh, orientation. Two doors, orientation, little square like that. Uh, let's see. I don't think I see anything here that I want to show you guys. Now we can go downstairs. Actually, let's go upstairs. What's upstairs? So here's uh, here's one of the um, different uh, segments here. There's no doors. Um, yeah. some, actually, it's a torch. Uh, you've already seen the torch. Okay. There's another one. Okay, you see the uh, bright lights in here? That corner room. Champions. Okay, right here. This one actually opens up. Whenever you see this right here... Um, there's a chance there's an exit or a waypoint. There's a chance that, uh, that is a dead end. But this one opens up. Here's one of the champion rooms or the elite rooms that I want to show you. The, the Sword of Torches here, you can see it from over here. You should be able to find a pack of elite monsters. There you are, cursed minions. There should always be, they should be here, here, you know, somewhere in here. You should find a pack of elite monsters nearby. Let's see if I can find the champion room. Guaranteed champion room. Actually, it's not guaranteed. There's just a high chance. Might be the same case with um, this room here. I, I tend to stay away from this one. Usually, my experience isn't uh, so bad that I need to go in here, but uh, it's always good to know that you have options. Uh, nope. There's no C shape. This is always dead end. Okay, let's dive into level 3 here. This is always dead end. So don't be confused with um, the one that's that's smaller. 
and has an exit. This one is a little wider, wider rec rectangle. You see the exiting wall here. Um, maybe you don't see the whole thing, but maybe, maybe you just see like a little bit like this. You know, it's a dead end. If um, if it, if it goes deeper than this, you know, it's the uh, the waypoint of the exit. Uh, this room right here. Whenever you have this uh, this rectangle, and you have two doors that are uh, flush, they're, they're, you walk a straight line to go through these doors. There's gonna be champions in this room or elites in this room. This is another room to look for. If you see lights, definitely want to go in there to kill them. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can find it. You're gonna come across this room a lot, so I, I do want to show it to you. Okay, another thing to note, there's a room like this where it's just, hey, have fun. Eight doors. It's it's a nightmare. There's so many different rooms, but they all tell a story. Okay, nothing here. Try again. Uh, one thing to note, so this right here is always dead end. Whenever you see a square like this with a door, this will always, 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 this is always dead end. Um, it took me a while to figure this out, but yeah. Whenever we go through a room like this into it, yeah, that's always dead end. Uh, typically, when I'm doing a speedrun, if I'm coming through this hallway for the first time, I will actually not go through a door like this. I will pass it. I'll check it out on the map as I uncover everything. And if it looks like dead end, well, hey, you didn't waste any time. If it's not a dead end, well... Chances are it's probably something you want to check out, so I just backtrack and check it out. Um, but yeah, if you see this, you see a door, that is always going to be a dead end. Anyways, let's keep going. Okay. That's not here. There's another, if you see lights, champions. Oh, thought we had it for a second. There's also another dead end, same sort of idea. You see a room like this, the door, that's always dead end. Always, always, always. Always dead end. Right up here. So as you can see here, the wall, it goes deeper. It's uh, it's shorter this way, and it goes deeper this way. For the exit and the waypoints, another champion corner room. Okay, here's another dead end. If you see a three-way like this, there's always there's always dead end. Sometimes it's faster to go through like this, like if you want to go over here. Sometimes uh, you'll have something weird, like this is blocked off. You want to go from this side to this side, well, sometimes it's faster to just go like that. But uh, whenever you see this, this sort of the, the little double wall there, and then three doors, that's dead end. This is all stuff, like I know I'm throwing a lot at you. This is all stuff you're going to get used to the more you run this game, the more you see things. And that makes the difference between uh, going fast and going slow. These little things like that. Or, I mean, you just get super lucky. You can just find the right door at the right time every single time. Alright, here's the room. Finally found it. Turns out there's no leads here. But uh, this is one of the rooms. This will always be a dead end. There's a, there's a Sometimes there's a chance here that there's monsters. Uh, if there's no barrels, I think there's always monsters. Actually, even if there are barrels, there might be monsters. Anyways, there might be champions here. Uh, this sort of... this This weird shape right here with the door right here and then the hallway here there can be a door here that's fine but that shape right there like that with this door always 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 be a dead end you can consider if you have an experience run if you're behind on experience go in here and check it out see if there's monsters if there's no monsters i mean well you waste time all right so that's basically it for catacombs let's just do a quick little since we're here okay so we're exiting this room um now, actually, I should show you guys. We didn't see this one yet. This right here, this actually we didn't we didn't go over this, but this one might be a little confusing. Don't be fooled by the fact that okay, you're going out this door, source facing this way. No, no, no. This is one big giant room right here. One big giant room. You're exiting. You're going this way. When you exit this room, you're facing the top left. So if you want to go towards the right of the waypoint to find uh, catacombs level three, the rules go towards the right. You want to go this way. You want to go towards the top right of the screen. So this right here, this looks interesting. Check this out. Keep going. 
keep going. There you are. There's there's another room. There's another orientation. Get used to it. Get familiar with it. Get familiar with, with this wall. The idea that there might be something here, and then um, catacombs uh, exit. Uh, one thing to note: um, this will be uh, much easier to show in the maglayer. But if you see something like this and you teleport across, if you see another room that's right beside it, always check them out. Always check out the rooms beside, because now all of a sudden you might have a room where it's uh, you're entering it this way. Well, it might actually be something like that. You'll also, I'll, I'll try to tell you guys the Magler in the next couple of videos. Um, but always uh, teleporting across if there's a gap. Um, sometimes you just get a feel for it and you, ha you might have an idea like, hey, that's a proper orientation, let's check it out. It might actually, the exit might just be right there. Teleporting might actually save you a lot of time sometimes. Um, but I think I've covered everything for this video. Um, I'll wrap up. So, uh, Barracks... Okay, we have it over here. Barracks, once you enter the door, straight to find the jail or the malice, left to find the jail or the malice. Both directions are valid. Uh, there's different, there's one unique orientation, one unique uh, sort of uh, room uh, per direction. Get used to those rooms, it'll help you find the exits. There is a specific room with guaranteed champions. Uh, don't forget about that. Uh, jail. Okay, uh, same sort of idea, uh, there's there's a fixed entrance room, there's a fixed exit room, they always look the same. This one is what it looks like for this this uh, orientation where you go towards the top right. Uh, jail 1 and 2, uh, you need to go towards, uh, you need to go straight. You need to go straight to find the exit. So here's, the, this is the sort of idea I'm saying, like, you see a room across, check it out. Always check it out because, like, you could be entering from over here. And there, there could be an exit there. Magler, it's, it, that's where it's going to be the most uh, helpful. It'll be very easy to see what I'm talking about there. Jail of 2 goes straight. Same sort of idea. So something like this. You see a big giant room. Boom. That's exactly what I'm talking about right there. You see a giant room. Boom. Because uh, it's just coming in from over here. So jail of 2 goes straight. Jail of three, want to go towards the left. That's a big one. This is a really big one for normal. There it is. There's that sort of zigzag I was, I was telling you guys about. This one will always, 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 always be at that end. So you see something like that. I mean, it doesn't help too much. I think this could actually extend a little bit. Um, this is a very short one. But anyways, you st if you start seeing zigzags... No, it's a dead end. So we go towards the left. There it is. There's your here's your giant room. Going towards the left. Go through the entrance, and as you see here, straight's going towards the top right. Source facing top right. She wants to make a left turn. She's going towards the top left. And here's your room right here. Boom. Entering towards the top left. Here in Cloister, you you got the waypoints. Potential elites on both sides and the center. If you see bright lights, check it out. If you want to check it out, there's a door here in case you want to get here faster. If not, I mean, just run through. There's Bone Ash. Very dangerous. There's a strong cold. Ex strong cold enchanted. Uh, he does poison damage. Um, catacombs. Pick around direction. Hope you go the right way. Get familiar with all these little rooms and stuff. They all tell a story. They'll tell you if, if there's potentially an opening, a dead end, uh, possible monsters, possible exit. Get used to all these rooms here. It's going to take a long time. Don't do it all in one day. You'll figure it out. And uh, that's it. Catacombs 2. If you find the waypoint, you haven't found the exit yet, this is your compass. It literally tells you, okay, here's the room. Go right of the waypoint. So right of the waypoint, you're going towards the top right now. Boom, here's your room. Going towards the top right to enter it. Catacombs 4, it's always the same room, it's always fixed. Here's another one of those rooms with a, with a double hallway, there's the doors connecting them. There you go. And Dario, she's always here. This door right here, this is the big takeaway. This door could save your run, could save a lot of time. Pull these monsters out, 
prevent these mods going in this door is very useful. Very, very, very useful. That's it. That's the run. That's it. Or, no, maybe not the run. That's, that's the tutorial. And that's the video. Alright, I'll see you guys all later. Take care, everybody.